This is a video I really didn't want to do, but we still have to. This is a video in which I'm going to give you my conclusion of the beta of Park Beyond. Now, we have to talk about this game. We have to talk about Park Beyond. First of all, a big disclaimer at the beginning. I know it is a beta, I know this game is still in development and I know there is some time to fix some issues. And before speaking too much about issues, let's start with a lot of positive things about the game because I do really think there is a lot of positives to talk about. But more about the positives also at the very end of the video where we're going to weight them against each other. So let's start with the biggest positive one, the presentation of the game. I think it's fair to say that every game needs a unique DNA to be set apart from other games in the genre. Now, just to give you an example, Prehistoric Kingdom is a great game, but the presentation is very similar to Planet Zoo, so they have to deliver on so many levels in order to set themselves apart from Planet Zoo that it already is kind of a heavy weight for them to carry along. Park Beyond has a very unique impossification presentation, I want to call it, and it is a very strong one indeed. The whole scribble kind of theme, whether you like it or hate it, it doesn't really matter. It is a very unique style, and I really do think it's a very big benefit to have something like that. The second big, big, big positive of the game is the flexibility in especially the landscaping tool. The landscaping tool is fantastic. It is actually on par with the one in the Planet games, maybe even slightly above because it is basing on a lot more voxels, if I'm not completely wrong here. So it's a lot more uh, precise and it gives you a lot more control over what you're doing. I really favor this one. The third big, big positive one we have to talk about is the people. Now, they do walk a little bit too slow and they do glitch a lot, more about that later, but I have to say they nailed the art style of them, which is not easy, which is really not easy. It is very hard to get some artificial kind of people in that are not too much realistic but also not too comic-y. There are something in between and it is really hard to nail that. Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo have already done something really good with the Planet games, but for me personally, they are even above that. They really look really, really good. They look really good. And a last very positive thing is how easy it is to click things together. Now, the game is very accessible. You can just get some of the flat rides, drop them down, connect them with the pathing, and you're done. The park is basically working, and you can get in with some impossifications. And the flat rides, I have to say, are very well made. The detail is very nice on them. Everything about the flat rides looks really good. Uh, it seems to be that they have spent a lot of time and effort to make them look really good and also the details of the impossification they look really really good right let's make a break here that sounds awfully positive doesn't it yeah well it would if the foundation that lays below that one which all that i have just talked about is built on would be as great unfortunately i have the feeling it's not and there are several reasons to that See, from the very first minute of Planet Coaster's existence, everyone was really, really bad about the pathing tool. And I think it was for granted. I think it was a, there was a good reason for that. Now, does it get any better with this game? I don't think so. The pathing is just as broken as in other games. The pathing is very finicky. Even though it has some benefits, you can make some plazas in a nice way. But, oh boy, is there a lot broken. There are glitches everywhere. The pathing is not connecting fine to other things. You have a lot of issues issues to connect certain things. It's almost Roller Coaster Tycoon World kind of problems uh, in terms of where you can connect and where not. There is no precise control over joints. There is no way to create a plaza easily. There is just so much pain building pathing in this game. I really don't think it is needed to have it that complicated, but for whatever reason, it is kind of hard. And I gotta say, this is really, you know, if you want to build a park, like, this is literally what it's all about, is connecting with path. This is not good, okay? So, pathing is already a little thing. Well, and if we're already speaking about things that we already know from other games that is problematic, let's continue with exactly this. Now, the coaster builder, in particular, is awful. It is really awful. Um, the controls are kind of okay. It is node-based in a way that I think it will allow to create some fantastic coasters, but speaking of fantastic, I'm not speaking of 
brilliantly nice looking. I speak of fantastic in absolutely unrealistic because that's the only thing you can do with it. And I am a little bit annoyed because I really had hope, I had a lot of hope that this would be the moment where we get at least a little bit more of a decent coaster builder. It's not and I tested it to its bones and it's really not. Uh, it, it will not allow to create realistic coasters. If you're not in for realistic coasters, that's fine, but at least the tools should be right and they are super finicky. There is something about how much rotation you give to it. Like it does, the, the game doesn't understand where 360 degrees end, so they go above 360. This is where connection pieces really, really get into trouble. I, I didn't really figure that out myself. It was my brother actually to figure that out. Um, so. So yeah, a lot of issues, a lot of issues here. Another big part, and this is something I would have loved, really loved to not talk about, but I think it would be unfair to not talk about this. The building, the piece by piece building and the, just in general, the building is super, super hard. It's not accessible at all. There are so many issues with it. The, I, let me just get started with the most obvious. There, it, it, there seems to be no real logic behind this. I don't know when I'm in a group, I'm not sure when I'm building, I'm not sure when I'm copying things, I'm not sure which piece I'm selecting and which not. I have no idea why pieces would stick to a certain other piece and why not. I have no indicator why certain things are blocked and why not. It is just weird and it, the, the game just does get doesn't give me any clear advice what I've done wrong or right and the piece by piece building per se is as much as I love that they basically copied the same tools from other games like for example you have the 3D gizmo you have other things but it just doesn't work I know it's a beta but I can't justify everything with it's a beta because the game is set to be released in just a couple months there is not that much time to fix all of these issues and it's a fundamental issue there's no real logic behind how building works. I really hope that I'm super wrong here and everything in the background is already planned to really flesh that out nicely. I'm the last person to, you know, uh, kind of forget that I've said something wrong, whatever. But it really at this point isn't nice. Um, one thing I love is the scaling tool. But then again, the scaling is again so finicky because it you have to, uh, you know, you can't do this from a quick toggle or anything, you have to do it from the menu, and then everything you try and you just take another one, it just kind of feels weird because it doesn't really do what it should do, and then it doesn't stick to, uh, stay the same size, and again, as I said, there's a lot that has to be fleshed out. I'm happy that the ingredients are there, but the building just doesn't really look like stable enough at this point to really make me happy. I like the fact you can exchange textures of pieces and stuff so that you don't have to, you know, have a million pieces in your menu like in other games. But then again, it feels super hard to do to work with the tools. And again, the gizmo in this game, speaking of the gizmo, it seems to be undoable or impossible to import a gizmo into a game because it is as broken as in the other games as soon as you have selected more than one piece the direction is totally off for whatever reason i don't know why it is but that's just how it is uh so yeah so many things that come together and at this point i just want to say if this was a beta over a year into its existence or basically over a year before we would see the release I'd be fine. I thought, you know, there's a lot of work to do, but you can do this. But honestly, at this point, uh, I don't think it is going to work out for a majority of the people. As, as long as you want to slap down a lot of blueprints and prefabs, it's all good. The game works to what it should. Um, it's going to be a very neat game for like an hour or two very like casual it does work but the more if you want to go intricate in the game and if you want to try more and build bigger par parks and you know go create uh, creative with it i think the tools will be limited rather quickly however uh, i always give them the benefit of the doubt because as i said there's a lot of good stuff in here that we should highlight because otherwise that that would be unfair and i have not even spoken about all of the glitches my brother has sent me countless videos of of his attempts to build a good park and he's put a, a very a very very good amount of hours in like over 30 hours of playtime um so he knows what happened 
and he didn't even look for, for bugs. They just existed, I guess. Now, you know, as I said, I, I don't want to make it sound too negative because there's a lot good in this game. And I, it, I think it's unfair to compare it with the disaster that Rollercoaster Tycoon World was. But there are some ingredients in here as well that hint me to a potential disaster just like that. Simply because there are fundamental things not working at this point. Just as I said, like pathing, like the coaster builder. Um, yeah, I have. I can't say too much about the balancing of the management aspect. As far as I heard it from other people, it's okay, it's good. Um, but since we do not have other games that have a strong point in it, this is nothing where you can actually win too much, I guess, or, or lose too much, to put it the other way around. So, yeah, a lot of things we have to see what the full version is giving. I will give them the chance. I will check it out. Don't worry about this. Um, fair enough. But at this point, there is just a lot, a lot of things broken. And I would love to see them fixing it rather quickly, I guess, uh, into, into the development of the game. Now, that's that from my side. And uh, I'm very sorry I have used the same footage in the background as in my last video. The reason I did this is relatively simple. Everything else I've tested ended up in a disaster and it's not really a good presentation whatsoever. So I really do hope you guys, uh, yeah, found this little verdict helpful, at least in, in your consideration, if you haven't played it yourself even. If you have played it yourself, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the beta. Um, I really wish the people at the game studio a lot of luck and a lot of good times that they will be able to fix it hopefully they will be able to fix it that would be that would be really good because i thought there is a lot of good stuff in here that i would love to see flourish a bit more with a better foundation so let's hope that all of these things are indeed improvable or be able to be, be improved so that's that hopefully you guys liked it as i said um so yeah that's that have a good time thank you so much for watching and Fingers crossed and thumbs pressed, as we say in German, I don't know, uh, that they will be able to, <laughs> to, to put this game onto a better spot once it's being released. Until then, have a good time and goodbye.